welcome back data leaders and uh, big data learners to inside the channel the this video we will be working on configuring the spark environment with jupyter lab and also we will be seeing how it is already integrated how spark is already integrated with python 3 so let us start with that let us go to the terminal. Uh, I am going to start the entire process. So uh, just just for you guys to refresh. So we see that uh, the none of the name nodes or the resource uh, managers have started. So I am going to use uh, start DFS first. So that is how we start the uh, Hadoop file system, the distributed file system. We see that the name nodes, the data nodes, and the secondary uh, name nodes will be coming up and we see that the secondary name nodes are basically the cluster nodes that uh, is already integrated in a single node and next what we are going to do is we are going to work on uh, uh, yarn we are going to start the yarn.sh and then uh, we see the resource manager is up and running uh, we need to start the docker because uh, we need the docker start uh, byob we need the postgresql database as our catalog without uh, that it's going to be challenging for uh, the hive as well as spark to start querying we are going to directly jump into spark spark so all you need to do is you call PySpark and you say master is yarn and configuration is actually this is not required but having this uh, habit is useful because lots of configuration can be done for spark on the command line itself so keeping uh, you know having an idea of uh, this will uh, you know help you in the future so initiating PySpark like this is going to create actually a spark environment inside the python environment you see that in a moment that uh, the spark version will be uh, shown and the spark uh, the spark session will be also provided to us from the uh, from the cluster as you can see that this is actually python 3.1.3.10.6 and in in ubuntu 22.04 it is only python 3 is available and if i install so yeah we see that uh, spark uh, 3.1.2 is uh, up and running and we see this is a python environment so you want to uh, test it out you can say import os and you will see that the os is importing and if i say os dot uh, pwd uh, okay no not that so it is current i think it is current directory okay there is an issue here what is the issue okay the current directory is dot so we cannot use that uh, let us see anything else is available you will see that there is lots of options available inside the inside the os module and we are in the python module only and if i actually use spark you see that the spark variable is already created for us so you see this spark is available the spark session is available as spark and if i use sql you see that i can execute sql show data uh, let us do tables actually and if you execute that it will show the tables available in the uh, in the hive as well as in the spark environment because both are closely knitted so whatever tables are available in the hive uh, hive meta store also will be shared by the uh, spark meta store so bo both are close together okay there are certain challenges in hive that is why spark was uh, built uh, especially spark is built with the lazy evaluation technology where it is not evaluated i mean the actual logic is not evaluated until unless you request the data from the uh, from the entire pipeline so till then whatever transformation you are doing you can do it complete it and finally when you say show that is the process we will be actually looking into that in the uh, future but this is inside the command line okay now if you want to create uh, Jupyter notebook environment what you need to do is first of all we need to exit from here and once you exit from here we need to create a virtual environment 
for creating the virtual environment you have to first of all uh, apt install python 3 uh, python 3 vmv for uh, ubuntu so you have to install this uh, first it has been already installed here and once that is installed after that we can act, we can use the python m vmv and we can provide the virtual environment name so as of now i have already created the virtual environment because it will take time to create and uh, i'm going to remove the ipnv files to because i have been testing it and i am going to remove the ipnv files and you see that it is empty right now we have the virtual environment here in order to activate the virtual environment we are going to use source boob and vnb so one okay so that was a mistake actually we need to use bin and activate so that is how you activate the uh, virtual environment and you see that the virtual environment the bracket in, in the bracket it shows the virtual environment name so now we are actually inside the virtual environment now if we say pip uh, we want actually Jupyter Lab to be initiated. So what we need to do is we have to say pip install Jupyter Lab. That is the uh, that is the command that we need to provide. Once you provide that command, if uh, in my case it's already installed, you can again do that. It will go through the process and you will see that the requirement is matched. Once uh, you uh, you do that, Jupyter Lab should be there, and then you can initiate Jupyter Lab. By, by this command Jupyter lab iphone ip 0 .0 0 .0 0. but before we do that we actually have to create uh, how to say we have to create a PySpark 3 environment PySpark 3 environment kernel inside Jupyter lab for that we have a process to do that so we need the uh, we need to understand two things. First is inside the Jupyter Lab environment. This is the Python environment. Inside the Python environment, inside the share folder, uh, inside. Uh, so if you go inside that, we will see that there are kernels, lab, lab, lab extension, lab extensions, and MD convert. So inside the kernels, if you actually do an ls on the kernels, in, here you see both Python 3 and PySpark 3. But in your case, you will see only Python 3. PySpark 3 has to be created. So we have to do a make directory and we have to create PySpark 3 like this. So we have to say PySpark 3. So that will create the PySpark 3 uh, folder. And inside the PySpark 3 folder, we need to have, we need to create the, just a minute, let, we need to create the uh, kernel.json. So let me show you how the kernel uh, file looks. So uh, this I have already created it and kept it for, uh, okay, sorry, it's, uh, I have kept it, created it and kept it. So kernel.json file is, is exactly this. This particular file is already uh, shared to you over the GitHub repo. So you can take, take a look at the repo. And uh, let me actually go to the repo right now. And so EMR. So EC2 files, the same kernel.json file. This kernel.json file actually can be copied directly into this location also. So once you copy that this file into that location, you will be able to uh, you will be able to start the you will be able to then create the uh, notebook related to PySpark 3. But there is one more important command that we need to use. We need to say Jupyter kernel spec. Okay, and we need to give the full direct full path to the um, full path to the kernel.json. So VMV share Jupyter kernel PySpark. PySpark 3. So you, you, we need to give three here and then the user command. So once we give this particular command, what will happen is that kernel Okay, so we, I, the kernel spec had already, uh, I had already created the kernel in this case. So just give me a moment. Let me actually check the command. I think I made a mistake in the command. Okay, 
yeah, I have made a mistake in the command. So what I need to do is I need to actually say install. I forgot to say install. Say install and then execute it. So this time also I made a mistake. So let me review that. Probably I have totally forgot about it. So cat, we say cat emr uh, installation.txt. So no, sorry, it's actually in the BOOB file. BOOB file, and if you see, yeah, it is okay. There is no hyphen here. Uh, that is a mistake. So that, if you remove that, you see that the kernel gets installed. So the kernel, so if, if it is there, it will remove it, and if, uh, then it will actually install the new kernel spec for PySpark 3. And after this, if I execute Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Lab, uh, uh, Jupyter space lab hyphen IP 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 will actually create the uh, server. So once you open the server in your uh, browser, it will open and ensure that you, if you're using cloud uh, load environment, ensure that you have uh, opened the port for this. I'll be showing this in the next video. So, uh, but with this video, we are almost complete with the entire process. Uh, we have actually done the complete installation of this environment right now. With, with this video, we have completed the integration. The, the base, we completed the base of Ubuntu and Postgres Docker integration. We did that. Then we integrated the Postgres database with Hadoop and Hive as well as Spark. And after that, we integrated Spark with Python, Python uh, environment, JupyterLab. So all these three activities we have done in the in the series of videos. And with this, I would like to conclude the building your own big data warehouse uh, series of videos. I will be continuing this series of videos as a separate uh, uh, exercise that I will be doing with uh, PySpark and uh, Spark environment. However, this particular series of, you know, building the aspect will be stopped here. I am planning to actually extend uh, this for uh, dual mode also. So I will be doing some more research on this and uh, once I get some good clarity on that, then I will work on the dual mode, uh, uh, dual mode dilemma also. Till then guys, the most important point as I always say, the practice a lot, these things has to be practiced, then only you will be able to manage and master it. And then uh, do uh, like this video and uh, share, uh, share this video ahead with your friends. Subscribe to my channel so that you will get updates once the new videos come in. And uh, I would like to take uh, in this video with as usual the four words, practice, 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 practice. Have a great time guys.